Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Janet. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Please do subscribe, do support. Um, if you are an old subscriber, thank you for your love, support, your likes, subscriptions, your comments. I do read them. I read them. <laughs> Let's see what messages angels have for you today. should be enough for that Monday to come out if you guys have not uh, given your name for the magic box please do um, comment your names I'll be adding them it brings more specific messages like your name your angel I've already put in the angel numbers your names would come up during the reading if you would like it that way let's get into the messages i'll uh, read out the names first and uh, the angel numbers and then we'll head towards uh, the main messages that wants to flow for your give me a second guys let me just get all the names and the numbers together A lot of name and numbers have come up for you guys today. That's it. Okay. Let's start with the names. We have Kinjal. We have the angel number 2300, Pradyasha, we have Shashank, Babu, we have Paras, we have 1904, angel number 1324, 1324, we have Sonali, Ankit, Varsha, Praveen, Akira, Arvin, number 48, Shruti, Smriti, Saloni, Orvin, and Veena. Okay. Now we'll get into the main messages that wanted to come for you guys. We have Gemini. So you or your person might be from the zodiac sign of gemini i feel moon and ascendance as well so that be included or they might be just popping up in this energy right now very gemini vibe with that dual twin energy right he is clingy so this might be you or your or your person i feel you guys are masculines watching this reading today and your divine feminine is letting you know that she is dealing with a man who is very clingy please leave me alone exactly your person right now your divine feminine your runner is very annoyed at this point and She's like, I really do not want to deal with this energy anymore. It's, it's, I'm hearing eating me alive. So, so your uh, person is actually suffering a lot on a mental, I'm getting a headache. So it, it's a, these are psychic attacks. These are sign of psychic attack for me during a reading and 
the person is suffering spiritually a lot like she's losing out a lot of energy dealing with this masculine energy pull two cards from the deck okay i'll use i'll send deck two cards please two cards we have change and we have exhaustion exactly just when i was just saying this this confirmed your person wants a change and she is absolutely exhausted dealing with this toxic energy so look at this uh, lady's face she's exhausted she's tired she's tired of all the drama the fights the arguments she's like fed up at this point okay we have i have been codependent all my life i had to walk away i had to learn independence exactly so your person actually got into a relationship where she has been very codependent on this masculine and this masculine has been abusing her because he has been providing is the toxic masculinity that she has experienced and she herself has been in that toxic feminine energy and very codependent she she went into this uh relationship feeling that she will be received with love and she'll be taken care of like really pampered and loved but she actually misjudged codependency for love like material she could she couldn't differentiate between the lustful 3d love and the 5d love she she has been extremely um, unaware of what was going on or what she was stepping into i never stood up for myself and you did exactly you are an inspiration to your person let me tell you this absolutely straight like you are an inspiration she witness you fight even it's like it's not that your life has been perfect of course not but then she did uh time in and time out she would see you literally fight for yourself and taking stands for yourself calling things out that did not uh mesh with you things that were against your morals and your your divinity things that you were not okay with she did see you fight for yourself and she should have done the same but somehow she lacked that sense of integrity in her or she just did stand up for herself let's just say that yeah there was a lack of integrity or that it's like she felt it was wasn't something important to stand for she took stands for things that were probably more materialistic in nature and she did not give much importance to what was going on inside of her her inner world because uh, with that codependency it tells me that she might have um, experienced a lot of um, toxic parenting she has been neglected so she never learned that uh, it's important to take care of oneself she did not she did not understand self love but now she is coming around she is understanding what went wrong she's like she's hitting ground ground like she's hitting rock bottom right now i'm losing words i'm finding it difficult to find the words to express as i'm reading uh, the energies right now so it, it it feels like she she has she has been brought to a place a, where she is losing words she doesn't know what to call whatever she is going through it's not that she's not understanding that she is in a dark space but it's like so much has taken place that she's just i don't want to even spend another second trying to explain myself anymore she's like out of breath right now we have gemini again so your person might be a double gemini and uh, yeah that is 
so she might be a sun and a moon or a, a moon and a, a rising or a sun and a rising um gemini so that's a confirmation or you guys might um be two gemini's you are a gemini and so is she so your moon sign might be the same as her ascendant or her sun might be same as your um, moon something like that we have correct yourself yeah your person is actually in that uh, i need to get myself straight now like i have to do things to bring myself on the correct path you your person is in that self reflection zone we have friends so you guys probably would uh, were friends you were friends even the spouse she got married to probably were friends and then she chose one of the two she probably chose the other person over you and you guys had friendship before a relationship that's the message and for you i'm picking up this message will be like you you have some uh, new friends coming around like you'll be making new friends right now so your old friends will be leaving and new groups will come in they try to steal your gift but their body is not strong enough to hold them they will lose their mind okay so your previous friends were very toxic they were karmic in nature and they wanted to take your place they wanted to steal your position your spiritual gifts because gifts is mentioned here that that spiritual gifts for me um this uh, this people uh, even try to take your credit i'm hearing like you worked for something and these were your colleagues they try to put their name in place of yours and take away your position but it didn't actually work especially if they were your spiritual gifts because your body is built in such such a way like you know being a divine soul being a chosen one um our bodies are built in such way such a way that as we grow as we take up the experiences as we transform our genes kind of change our our body starts adapting to the spiritual gifts as they open because our, our system gets prepared over the years to withstand the strength that is required to you know hold these uh, these powerful gifts in uh, in ourselves right but these people they didn't know what they were asking for they wanted it but they didn't know the amount of work that you have put in to come to this place to be able to even access these gifts for yourself like these gifts are not open to everyone we have to work for it we have to prove that yes um, we are capable of tackling them and handling them and using them the correct way only then uh, divine uh, opens these gifts so that we can help ourselves and everybody around us people who really need uh, those uh, healing and those good vibes right but it, it's like they actually overlooked these years of um, hard experiences that you endured to be able to um, you know strengthen yourself your system your soul to actually access these uh, gifts and now that they try to st steal it they try to um, take things away from you now they are losing their minds because they are not prepared for the um responsibility the sense of responsibility and the strength that is required to remain in that position right to carry out uh, the work in the uh, best way possible they don't know they don't know half of the things how these uh, gifts actually work it worked for you because you were trained that way you learned over the years how to manage your gift and how to use it in the best way possible but these people didn't they just wanted to take it from you and with this message it seems like some of them did 
uh, succeed in doing some of the damages but then now they are facing the damages because they are losing their mind because the amount of purity that the soul and the body requires to hold these gifts it, it's outstanding and they don't have it in them right we have stagnancy and it's reverse so these people try to stagnant you and it's actually not working anymore so your gifts are going to be get returned to you take that as a confirmation if you have been feeling that your gifts your blessings are reopening your thing your, you know your life is falling into place you're finding that balance all over again probably for some time your intuition and your money flow was not in like it was blocked in some way shape or form now they are opening the portals are opening for you in in, in the right way you're having the right dna activation you are right the the stagnation uh, that stagnancy is being cancelled because now you are not only uh, capable of <coughs> receive uh, like reopening those gifts and receiving those gifts and activate them but also utilize them with the sense of responsibility accountability and be the leader that you were always destined to be so probably before you didn't know that you even had a gift and it got stolen but now you know you have these gifts and you even know how to use it the correct way you know how to protect yourself and your gifts and the people who um, you have been assigned to help you are capable of protecting and helping extending your healing hands towards people who really need your wisdom your guidance your healing right now okay we have aries this card came in reverse that tells me that you are probably dealing with an aries and um, this aries was not in their best energy when they did this to you or if you are that airy so they when they threw you out of balance you actually you were all over the place okay so we have double gemini and an aries your intuition is the window to your soul don't doubt your intuition exactly that be another confirmation that if you are receiving uh, downloads and messages and you are having the correct dna activation pay attention to what you are being shown okay heard by uh, surrounding and false support exactly your person had been misguided a lot and so have you okay your person is not the only one who um, got involved in a probably a false twin flame connection a, a karmic connection that seemed to be a twin connection and really got hurt uh, their karmic family probably um, influenced them in the wrong manner and they fell for it Pro and considering that they have been slightly materialistic um they they thought they'll have a certain level of joy and you know by choosing this person but they realized that it was a wrong decision and on the other side you got a different kind of a lesson over here where you are learning that the people you trusted around especially at the job place were actually a snakes okay heard by surrounding and false support here yeah. these people were supporting you they pretended to be there for you support you and then they took away your credit at the last moment right we have aloo paratha that we food for you if you guys uh, have been in india you will know that aloo paratha is an amazing dish made out of flour so that it might be your your person's um, favorite and especially if you guys are from two different cultures like your person is from india i mentioned india over here so your person might be from india you, you might be from abroad from a different country different culture religion caste race i'm hearing or vice versa or you might um, or you might be somebody who is an NI, nri you are an indian living in a different country 
she can't stop talking about him yeah so this is your person who cannot stop up, stop talking about you she's like she's mad she's angry right now that she made the wrong decision and she is slapping like verbally slapping this a karmic masculine by taking your name saying ki uh you know this janetian was way much better than you i made a wrong choice i shouldn't have chosen you over him and uh, you are disgusting me i'm hearing i wish i would have chosen him then i wouldn't have been in this place right now i would have been in a completely different space yeah we have madness right i just said she she's angry mad your person is at a throwing fits right now she, she's tired she's she's tired of fighting but then she's angry with herself she's angry that she couldn't recognize this connection this beautiful love your the friendship the love you all shared between e each other she probably did feel that this connection was different from all the other connections that she has experienced but she did not know that she probably will not be experiencing this kind of a connection ever again and uh, she has she chose to uh, be on a more surface level than go on a deeper level and understand herself we already seen that Uh, she did not understand self love she has been her parents neglected her she lacked self awareness she lacked self love she did not pay her needs were not uh, prioritized she did not know how to prioritize her needs and wants okay so she went with what she was being told by her surroundings and now she is mad because she paid attention to them hates being questioned exactly listen you you might have faced this with your person every time you used to question her saying ki why you are doing this what do you want um what are your choices what are your needs is this what your heart wants but then she probably would have uh, she used to land up answering you saying uh this is what my parents want it doesn't matter what i want this is what my parents want or this is what is going to make everybody happy but she never looked into herself and like said that what will make me happy and she hated being questioned because your question always triggered her and she landed up becoming the runner in this connection that's where your uh, runner chaser dynamic actually got activated got started here we have right so you and your person both of you all are being uh, suggested to write down everything that is going on inside of you because you both are uh, upset right now and it's going to be a good therapy session while you write and then burn up the paper is going to help you release all the pain that uh has been hurting you inside you need to call out the things that have been hurting you over these years we have a uh, capi so that's capricorn this is the uh, third sign that came in so you your or your person might be a capricorn and uh, we are in the capricorn season so there might be something that um, happens during this time recall your past exactly you your person you you both are reminiscing uh, about each other that's what's happening in this season like you guys are missing each other she is of course missing you she is consistently taking your name and she's slamming the door on the karmic um and you are missing her as well so can can you please forgive me so this is your person apologizing to you so that's what she wants to tell you which she comes back she's like praying for your forgiveness that somehow if i feel it's very difficult for your person to actually face you look you in the eye and actually she's like she's she's lost respect for herself for what she has done in this connection the fact that she couldn't take a stand for herself she's like what kind of a person am i that i couldn't even stand up for the right things and when it comes to you she's pleading for um, 
forgiveness and she doesn't know how to look into your eye and actually apologize she it's going to take a lot of strength right now for her to actually walk up to you and tell you what's going inside of her she's like she's in a very sad position right now we have bullying so she did face a lot of bullying in this relationship and she is bullying herself as well she's like bashing herself up right now if she has ever told you that uh, she'll make it uh, way better with this man than with you uh, she kind of bullied you and try to show you you're not good enough now she's doing the same with herself she kind of even projected her own issues onto you on this connection she couldn't have chosen this love she couldn't have chosen you because she was not choosing herself it's that simple and straight i am religious your person says that she is religious and probably she got married to a religious man but now her uh, visions are changing sleeps for money oh my god i feel uh, this is these are the accusations that your uh, your person has faced and this karmic did sleep for money she found out and that's where uh, the fights began this man is it's not that that man cannot provide money this man might have addictions and she is the one who is on the receiving end of all those toxic behaviors you know the man might be coming back home drunk abusing assaulting her accusing her for uh, sleeping with other men for money while he's actually having some up office affairs outside like he projected a lot of his crappy toxic nonsense behaviors onto your person that actually damaged your person your runner to great heights and lengths i'm hearing she has been accused of a lot of things that she has not she can't even think of doing them this in a, a guilty mind a guilty conscious picks the mind so this man would go out cheat do whatever get drunk get get laid and then come back home and accuse your person and practice a lot of tax, toxic masculinity on her we have written notes so we have the writing again written notes so there are notes that she has been uh, writing your person writes she does uh, use writing therapy to help her cope with the situation she probably does have uh, diaries and she did write something and she put it on uh, i'm i'm getting a vision of this refrigerator so she she wrote something and she put it on the refrigerator and a fight broke early in the morning i don't know what starts all all about that might be relevant for some of you guys or you really need to read something a note that has been left by her or somebody around you you might get a clue on uh, what's going on on her side and uh, when she would uh, be able to contact you she might even need help right now yeah we have silence we have alone your person is on a spiritual path right now she is choosing uh, to go with the flow of a higher self she is awakened she is i'm hearing she went through a near death experience as well probably she got beaten up very badly and that's when she got awakened i'm hearing si uh, siren so she did get a hospitalized as well she lost a baby yep exactly 
absolutely she's she's going to be successful with this transition she'll be able to release this man and come out of it she's very traumatized after losing the baby losing the baby like having that near death experience going into the hospital like getting hospitalized and losing the baby this these all these things happened back to back in a very short period of time around like within like 6 months like she was already being physically abused and then she loses the baby and everything so it triggered her awakening and then she is finding courage she is finding courage in this situation to um find ways to bring herself out of the she's already called this situation out she doesn't want to be here she probably won't even take a single penny from this man but just want her uh, freedom back and it's going to take her a lot of time to heal she needs to go through a lot of um, water therapy right now what is going to help her so she needs to work with fire and water burning out those um, notes once she vents out fire is going to help her release writing is going to help her release and what is going to help her re release your person is very creative she she kind of shut herself down in this relationship because of what was going on with her exactly and she is guilty but the thing that actually has uh, has been hurting her recently the most i'm hearing like is losing you that's a loss that she has been carrying for a very long time like she went through so much of damage and she knows she'll recover from all of this but when it comes to you losing you uh, that is something she doesn't know how to fix that she doesn't know how to apologize she she doesn't know so she's just on her knees crying and begging for forgiveness but she doesn't know how to face you at this moment okay i'll catch you guys in my next reading take care bye